Our vets deserve better. Hey folks, Eric Wood from Another Voice with Eric and Friends. Like many, as I saw the reports come out of veterans dying because they couldn't receive the treatment they needed in VA hospitals, I believe in Phoenix was the big spot, but not the only one, and the cover-up that followed, I was outraged. Our veterans deserve better. And as I followed this story and listened to the talking heads and the bloggers and the news and the elected officials, I become more incensed. Our vets deserve better. Mr. President, our vets deserve better. Better than finely crafted words of outrage and a nice speech and calls for getting to the bottom of this. You, sir, are the commander-in-chief. This should be at the highest level of your priorities. The men and women you send and your uh, predecessors have sent into harm's way deserve to receive the treatment for whatever injuries, mental or physical, that they need. This should be something that is top priority for you and you will get to the bottom of this and fix it. I'm not so worried about whose head rolls. I'm more interested in how we fix this so that every U.S. veteran gets the medical treatment they need. Senators, representatives, our veterans deserve better. Better than endless congressional hearings whose real goal is to find ways to score political points, to attack the current administration or protect the current administration, rather than get to the bottom of how do we avoid any soldier, any veteran, not getting the treatment they need. That's your task. Not political posture, not gaining ground for the next election, not fighting for your pet peeve or pet project, but an honest investigation in how this failed and most importantly, how it will never fail again. It may take a whole overhaul of the system. You know, for years I have said that I would like to see every VA hospital closed, every doctor on the VA uh, uh, payroll, gone. Nurse, gone. The whole VA system closed and take every single penny of that and give it to our vets and let them go to get the treatment wherever they can find the best treatment possible. I don't know if that's a, a good plan, but it is a plan. Congressman, Senator, our veterans deserve better. Talking heads, news people, bloggers, Facebook posters. Our veterans deserve better. Better than being a political punchline or fodder for your particular issue, your pet peeve, the thing you are opposed to. You know what? The VA debacle, you know what the VA, the VA debacle is like? It's like the VA debacle. Not Obamacare. Not whether the president cares for the troops. Not whether the Republicans voted for whatever. The VA debacle is about the VA debacle. And it needs to be focused on that. Maybe Obamacare will be what the VA debacle is. Maybe it won't. But that's not the point. Stop using our men and women who served as political fodder for your point of view. Your focus, like a laser beam, should be on how do we avoid this ever happening again? How do we make sure that Congress and the White House takes care of our veterans? And while you're at it, understand that while this is a terrible tragedy, it's not every VA hospital, it's not every VA doctor, or every VA nurse. Let's put perspective. And finally, to my fellow Americans, our veterans deserve better. 
Better than just to be remembered on special holidays or when there's a crisis, bumper stickers. Our veterans deserve our attention. These men and women, for the most part in history, have stood up voluntarily and took your place and my place and stood in the gap to protect our freedom, to protect our country. And it should be our goal that this never happens again. It should be our goal to call and write and email and visit senators, representatives, and the White House and demand that our veterans get taken care of, that their mental and physical needs are dealt with properly, that their medical records are cleared up, that we don't have a building that has so many paper records that's slowing the treatment down, that there's so many in the room that the floor is sagging. This has to be an election issue, demanding that our veterans get taken care of so that next year, on Memorial Day, there's not a single veteran that we have to honor who died because the VA couldn't treat them. All right, folks. We, this has been another voice with Eric and Friends. Mondays at canigetawordin.com is where you can normally hear us. Check out our podcast. Go to Another Voice with Eric and Friends. You can go to YouTube at Be Another Voice and Twitter at Be Another Voice. And until we meet again, get out in your community and make a difference.